from that Crocker Park and Seltzer. Some of the best who ever did it. It goes down just like I spit it. Yeah, we out there, man, we get it. All these neighborhoods got game from us and probably won't admit it. From the bone and the road and sideways. Yeah, Joe Shasky the third, uh, born and raised literally five blocks from here. Uh, you know, I'm fifth generation San Franciscan. My, my dad grew up in St. Mary's Park. Uh, in the house that his grandfather grew up in, and then uh, my mom grew up on 45th and Noriega. And so my wife, you know, she's from Glen Park, and she's a city girl, you know, and uh, our moms actually went to high school together. Small world, right? Can you believe that? When we were growing up, uh, you know, I played for St. Mary's Park, right? Because Crocker Park, it had a couple of different things uh, for, for kids, youth activities for kids. We spent a lot of time at the smaller park, uh, Excelsior Park right over here which had the murals and whatnot it was a little smaller baseball diamond my dad would throw balls to a lot of me my brother a bunch of the kids in the neighborhood you know I was very lucky my dad was very into sports and like you, you don't have these anymore and I think Safeway blowing up like it did just down the street from where my parents lived that kind of was a game changer and for the neighborhood I think that it, it just changed all of the small mom and pop stops that you had all throughout the neighborhood. And instead of getting groceries there, you just went to Safeway, you know? So that, that changed things big time. And then Excelsior really is West Coast Hell's Kitchen. And I didn't understand what they were talking about until I got older and I started, you know, just going to different parts of the Bay Area, different parts of the state, different parts of the country. And you realize like, you know, out here having a Tongan and Irish, uh, you know, friend, who, you know, who's half of each, like that sounds insane to somebody from uh, different parts of, of the United States. Like if you go to Arizona, you know, Filipino and Irish, what? You know, I I Italian and Japanese, what? Like, but out here you'd see all that. And so I think we got, we got introduced to just different cultures and different kinds of people and like always been a motorcycle kind of like you know 81 chapter 81 if you will feel to the neighborhood where somebody would have a motorcycle out front or they'd be working on a truck out front and it was always you know it was just a, it was just different like again you, you you saw lots of different ethnicities i think also being at the hub of geneva and mission where so many different neighborhoods intersect the 14, the 29, the 15, all these different buses, the 49 would come down, the 47 would come down. You, you had the 14. You had so many different buses that would come through at that one intersection and then BART being so close. Uh, you just got people from all neighborhoods, all ethnicities, and as the neighborhood started to change, you got less and less of that. But I understood that if I could buy a piece of San Francisco, have my own home, I could stay here forever. And I think seeing the grind of the neighborhood, it just makes you, it, you're wired different. You understand how to hustle and how to grind and how to save money and balance and just survive. And I, and I do think it makes you a tougher individual, but more importantly, it makes you look at your neighborhood so different. I mean, I look at Mission Street now and I see all the vacancies and it's heartbreaking. And, you know, I still get my hair cut right here from Danny the Barber. I've been going here since, like 15 years, 20 years, you know, to Danny. And I, I live now on Alamany, which is, you know, five, ten minute drive away. I still come over here because this is this is my barber. This is my neighborhood. And I care. And I ask them how things going. My buddies run Acme Surplus, the Fahey's. They're like cousins to me. And, you know, Bill and his family is running forever. My boys, the Fahey's, have been up there. I still frequent and shop because I support locally. I want to see these neighborhood entities, these pillars of the of the community survive. One of my best friends is, is Fred and his sister over at Little Joe's. I still order Little Joe's once a week, you know, because it's the best pizza in town and also because you got to support these people that have been in the community for so long. And these are the people that I worry about because they're here every single day trying to make this neighborhood better and people are just stepping all over them and then you want Whole Foods to come in and blow them out. Like, no, that's not cool, you know? And I mean, what would this neighborhood be without these places that I'm referencing? It wouldn't be a neighborhood. That's what gives it its soul. We breed people in this neighborhood different than other neighborhoods, and I mean that sincerely. Whether we're talking about famous people like Jerry Garcia or Sal Castaneda, who's on television, um, or you know, or we're talking about people that run businesses like my boy Mike over here that runs uh, Calabria Brothers. We just we know how to play the chameleon act, and what I mean by that is is know the setting you're in you want me to be corporate i'll be corporate for you you want me to be you know the coach of the baseball team i can do that too you know you want me to uh be somebody that supports the neighborhood whether it's the t-shirt shop getting some t-shirts done like you know like my guy who does the t-shirts here candlestick just just embrace the neighborhood right and and it will give it back to you and 
you learn how to kind of fit in in any setting and you learn how to grind and the gr the griminess and some of the, the the imperfections of the neighborhood i think are the most beautiful parts of it and the murals and things like that it's the raw the rugged the real that really makes me appreciate it the realness of san francisco life is encapsulated in this little corridor over here and you know it's it's uh it's only going to continue to change and evolve and evolve is a good thing Park is in the heart of this neighborhood. This park is starting the beginning of our brotherhood. Brothers from another mother, every nationality. If you're from Excelsior, then consider me family. It runs through my heart and tell dead to us. You got love in your hood like Excelsior Park. Whoever did it, it goes down just like I spit it. Yeah, we out there, man, we get it. All these neighborhoods got game from us and probably won't admit it. From the bottom.